James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com with another classic strum along. This is a really good one to pull out at a party. A thousand, five thousand miles, five hundred miles by the Proclaimers. Now this uses palm muting, which if you don't know what that is, it's a technique that uses this part of your hand and they use it to maximum effect in this song. And you are gonna need uh, some audience participation or a buddy to be able to sing this one uh, correctly, especially with the da 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 that bit. Anyway, let's start learning how to play it. Just a few simple open chords and some technique and rhythms. You can grab the tab to this version by going to the student area of my website. It just takes a name and email address to join. It's completely free. I've left a link in the video description so you can do that. Let's start learning the song. As I mentioned, if you get the tab from learnguitarinlondon.com, it will make learning this just that little bit easier. Now there's one main technique that you really need to learn to make this sound like the song, and that is palm muting. So what you do is you take this part of your palm here, this part of your hand, and you're going to rest that on the top three or four strings of the guitar. So notice how I'm a lot further back than normal, right? So I'm not out here, I'm right further back. And that way I'm sort of strumming like this. So for those of you that are used to strumming like this, you're gonna have a bit of a problem like that. But we wanna be nice and close so that you can feel these pegs if you're on an acoustic on the back of your guitar. And basically this is palm muting. Listen to the sound. This is without. And there's a big difference. Palm muting means that it's short sounding and it kind of sounds more comped. Is, is a word I like to use for it. So taking an E chord with your palm muting, once you've got the hang of the palm muting, it's really quite simple. We're strumming just the top four strings of your E, and you're going one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four. So if you're not quite sure what I'm doing there, with my strumming direction, I'm going down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. So let's repeat that and do it slowly. Repeat. Okay, a little bit faster. Da -da -da -da. So that's the verses. Da -da 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 -da. And when you hear the. Da -da 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 so there's two ways to do these A5s. Now, written in the music is you doing an A5 this way, which is first, fifth fret on the thickest string ring finger on the seventh fret, making a power chord on the A string, and pinky finger tucked underneath on the seventh fret also. And then you're strumming the top three strings just twice, and then sliding that chord shape up two frets, so you're on seven, nine, and nine. So here it is, so here, notice I'm not picking up my fingers and replacing them, I'm just moving it, and strumming that twice, seven, nine, nine. That's one way of doing it. There is another way that I did in the video at the beginning, and that is, you can go to a regular A chord, which yes, seems easier, and then doing a B power chord here. So that's two, four, and four on the D and G, and strumming that twice. Or, so I'll let you choose. I think if you've been playing a bit longer, that one I think sounds better, but if you, if you don't want to move too much, then just do your regular A chord, second fret on D, G, and B, and then two, four, and four on the A, D, and G to do your B. Make sure you're just strumming those strings. So that's the coming home to you. That's that part in the song, okay? So we've got A, B5, back to E. I'll do that again. Now for that A, you could also do a mini bar on D, G, and B, totally optional, or you can just do the actual A chord, however it is you do it with your fingers. So that is your verses, okay? Really easy to hear. When it gets to the chorus, they release the palm muting and start strumming all six strings. But it's the same rhythm. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. Then to your A, doing the same rhythm. Down, 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 down then to the B5 with this full rhythm. Okay, so a little tip on this, bring your middle finger to mute the thickest string in case you hit it, because that doesn't sound as nice. That sounds much more comped. 
So same thing, same rhythm, but just no palm muting and strumming more strings. And repeat. Okay, and after that, the da 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 part is down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So that's using an E chord going one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and then an A for going one, two, and, or down, down, up, then a B5 for down, up, down, up. So you go. Then back to E for one, two, and three, and four, and. Let's do that slowly for you. And that is pretty much your whole song. There's this little alternative ending where it goes, um, coming up, coming home to you, where you just hold an A5. But really, it's just the same chords. So A5, A and B5. And that really is your whole song. The palm muting is the thing that will take you the longest to get to grips with. And then releasing the palm. 